I bought this PS5 Slim from Timu for about 30 bucks, and in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at whatever they sent us. So guys, look at this listing and tell me it does not look like what you think a PS5 Slim will probably look like. And I mean, they already made a GS4 Pro and a GS5, so of course the next logical step is a GS5 Slim. So let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here it is. Dude, this thing is already looking ultra sus. <laughs> we got the, the 2.4G wireless. I sure hope it connects to the internet if it's advertising that. And of course we have this controller here that looks just like a DualShock 5. We got the PS5 Slim looking thing here with a USB port and a SD card reader, I guess, on it. 3D rocker, special game rocker for arcade, high sensitivity and anti-skid design. Here on the front, I mean, like that looks, that looks pretty sweet. Like honestly, if the PS5 Slim looks like this, I'll be happy, maybe. I, we'll, we'll see what it looks like on the inside of this thing. But uh, hold on, I forgot about the product features on the back. It says double handheld. What, what does that even mean? Does that mean, okay, maybe they're talking about, maybe the handheld meets controller and there's two controllers. That's my guess. Uh, support 10 simulators, open source system, and dual players. So a lot of dual stuff here. I don't know. The last one I bought, I think, said 4 Yeah, this one says 4K as well. So apparently they're putting out a 4K Ultra HD stick. I don't know what that means. And just for comparison's sake, we got the GS4 Pro here, the GS5 here, and of course the GS5 Slim, as I'm going to call it, but they call it the 2.4G wireless. And it is indeed slim because it's a, the box is a whole lot smaller. Um, let's go ahead and open the box up. All right, guys, time for the big reveal. Dude, wait, hold on, where's the, where's the console? <laughs> we got a controller here. Oh, wow, that feels like absolute junk. Wow, it's like, this thing is super light too. We got the, the other controller here. Wait, where is the, is, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is this the, no, it can't be. GameStick Pro? Hold on. <laughs> the photo they showed me, look at this here. Look, look how large that looks here. <laughs> Dude. They made this thing seem like it was twice as big, three times as big as a controller, but in reality, this thing is about half the size of the control. <laughs> what a what a what a dupe here! What a bait and switch. Throw this little baggie off to the side. We got a, a little. Well, hold on. <laughs> what kind of HDMI cord is this? Why do we have a female to male HDMI cord? What is this thing? GameStick Pro. <laughs> Dude, it's just an it's just an HDMI stick. Are you kidding me? It does actually look like a. PS5 design though, like if you look at it, like the, the contours and stuff of it looks like the PS5 a bit. Uh, <laughs> what is going on here, man? I mean, I guess it's kind of nice to give you this little extension thing so you can just hang it from the side of your TV. <laughs> Dude, wow, this is uh, not quite what I was expecting. And it doesn't, it doesn't even have built-in uh, wireless support for the controller. You actually have to plug in your USB here, I guess, to get controller controller support. What? And it, wow, and that's a tight fit. Oh, holy crap. That is the tightest USB port I have ever seen in my entire life. I, I just like, I can't even. <laughs> okay, so looking back at this listing, if you scroll far enough in the pictures, you do find a part that shows it as an HDMI stick. But like, if I, all, honestly, all I did was look at the first picture and it's like, I gotta have that. And it, it, you know, it just like, it was just like the front of this box where it clearly looks like a uh, PS5. It looks like a larger console than an HDMI stick. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at these things in here. So we got our, Hold on, this is, dude, what, what a mess. A, B, X, Y. They couldn't even bother putting the, the, the PlayStation controls on here. You got start select mode. You got this fake touchpad that does nothing. You've got the, uh, the DualShock 4, um, wait, this is not DualShock 4. This is like, this is like PS2 era. This is a DualShock 2 and DualShock 3 uh, level of analog sticks there. They actually feel decent for what this thing is. Uh, the D-pad is, of course, awful. The triggers are like the worst thing I've ever felt in my life. And then you even need batteries, wow. And you got an on-off switch on the or on the on the controller. Wait, wait, does this even work, dude? The on-off switch is so janky that there's like not even you can't even feel the click when you switch the on-off. Wait, there it is. Okay, you just gotta press super hard. There it is. Okay. No wonder this thing was. I mean, thirty bucks is honestly too much for this. But of course, we have two of these. And I just like can't get over this says ABXY. Now look at this GameStick Pro thing. It is a it's a very interesting looking device. Of course, got your HDMI port there. You've got an SD card in here. Let's see if I can even eject it. All right, this thing has 64 gigs on it. I'm assuming this is basically a Famiclone, so it's gonna have a bunch of like old uh, NES type games on here. We got a, a micro USB port, of course, our USB A port where we just plugged in our adapter. And yeah, I mean. Like you can see, it has the contours kind of like a PS5, uh, so that's kind of cool, uh, but it's just uh, kind of lame how small it is. We'll, we'll open this up later, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. Sorry guys, one more thing. I wanted to compare the PS5 to the GS5 to the GS5 Slim, and <laughs> just like, this is pretty self-explanatory. Look at the size difference here. Like, oh my goodness. This thing, I already, I actually really like this thing because it's kind of cute. It's pretty small. This thing is like triple the size of this new GS5 Slim HD stick. Game Stick Pro thing. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Let's plug it in though. Wait a second, <laughs> dude. 
the buttons are flipped around. It says it says on and off. When you turn it off, it turns on. When you turn it on, it turns off. Wow, <laughs> wait, wait. Like, look at this. The light is on and it's off. And when I scroll through, it's actually working. And just by the way, this, uh, this home screen actually looks pretty nice. Like this is a nice UI. We got Arcade Classics, Final Burn, Neo, MAME. Oh, we got MAME games on here. Nice. Atari 2600, uh, Lynx, bunch of, yeah. They just call it, inter <laughs> I love how they just leave off Nintendo here. They just call it entertainment system. Uh, they call it Game Boy, Super Famicom, uh, Super, Ni oh, they call it Super Nintendo here though. So they should just call it Super Entertainment System, right? Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis. Dude, they got every, this is actually not PlayStation. Oh, are we emulating PlayStation games on here? Nice. Let's just, uh, let's start out with some, some MAME. Let's play some arcade games here. So just by the way, I will be giving away this GS5 Slim in a Whatnot auction next week. So check that out down below. And also I have a bunch of stuff listed for sale right now on Whatnot. And if you sign up using my link down below, you'll get $15 off your first purchase. But it is, it is the, <laughs> it's the classic here where they just have like random numbers and it's in a random order. I, <laughs> Why do they always do this? Why can't they just put them in alphabetical order for once? Big River Fighting Blood Tolerance. That ca that can't be the name of this game. And it, no, no, that can't be the name. Let's go ahead and try. I'm gonna try out Game Boy. Uh, we got Rockman, Galaxy Warrior. Now the question is, are the games on here? Are they North American? Are they Japanese? Chinese? I don't know what all the regions were for like the Game Boy and that sort of thing. There you go, Toy Story. That's the kind of game I played when I was when I had a Game Boy Color. I was like five years old. So let's go ahead and see this. See if this is actually Toy Story. It feels so wrong that I can't click these sticks. Like a lot of times I'm just waiting for games, I'll click the sticks just because why not? Um, but I can't do it here. And that, yeah, it looks like Toy Story. Wait, this is actually really interesting. They have a they have a border around the outside, which is a bit annoying because I cut off a lot of screen real estate, but it looks like they customized the border to Toy Story. I, I don't know, that's that's pretty interesting, but it's, it's definitely working here. I'm curious what this mode button does. I haven't tried that out yet. Oh, we can resume, save. Oh, you can save your state. Hey, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> Frog crossing the... <laughs> There's no way they just call it Frogger, Frog crossing the street. All right, we gotta boot this one up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure enough, it's Frogger. I, I thought for a second, maybe I just, maybe they actually made a knockoff Frogger called Frog crossing the street, but no, it's just called Frogger and they decided to call it Frog crossing the street. So I, 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 I was talking about this with these famic clones. I don't understand what, like what goes into these things. Like clearly some of these, they're calling them the legit names like Super Tennis, Tec <laughs> Tecmo Whooper Bolt. What? And then it says Mega Man Sock. So this is what doesn't make sense. Like they just put random names in some games and other games have the real names. Super, oh, how did I not see this before? Super Moo Yoshi Island. They don't even have Super Mario, they don't even have the, the classic Super Mario World. Super, <laughs> they call it Donkey Kong Land 2, Super King Kong 2. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Car God 3, that can't be the name of that game. <laughs> Instead of Rayman, they call it Layman. <laughs> Dude, this has got to be some kind of AI thing where they're like, the AI is scanning the image and like making up a name for it. That, that's got to be it. Like, uh, like I can't with these names. Like, dude, imagine your, imagine your job is to sit here and scroll through these games and make up names for them or try to translate them. And this is what you come up with. <laughs> Just funny stuff. Now, like, is, is this legal to sell these games? Like, no. Now, I do want to try out the PlayStation, see if they actually have some PS1 games on here. Hey, they got the Silent Hill Japanese, at least they specify it's the Japanese version. That's cool. I guess, yeah, here's the Silent Hill, I guess the US version. I don't know, let's boot it up and see if it can actually emulate PS1 games. All right, guys, so I feel like I'm dropping a ton of frames here. To be fair, I've never actually played this game on a physical PS1, so I don't know how it runs, like on the OG, but I, had, I did emulate it on the Steam Deck, like, a year ago and I feel like it ran better than this. So I just noticed down here below all games, it'll tell you how many games you have. You have 20,089 games. So if that's like legit, that's a lot of games in here. Now I'm sure there's a lot of repeats. There's probably more like 10,000 games because we saw some repeats there. Wait, no, they call them Super Mario R. That's like Jacob R. That's awesome. We got Super, Mush Super Mushroom Man R. What? The disappearance of the, of the Mushroom Man. Super Mushroom the two bro. Super Mushroom Cry Rabbit Hunt. No, don't tell me this is Duck Hunt. Okay, no, it's not Duck Hunt. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, up here we got actually Super Mario Bros. So maybe, maybe there is, like, guys, let me know down below. Maybe there is another version, like a modded version of Super Mario Bros. It was called Super Mushroom Man. Maybe I just, I'm just clueless about that kind of stuff. But Super Mario 14, like, I don't know. The, the things they include on here are just like, it's, it's, it's just so much fun to just scroll through here and see the, the ridiculous things I find. Sue, he's fighting big goals. We even got Transformers here. Hot Dog Storm. No, we gotta play this. What is this? No, no way. There's actually a game called Hot Dog Storm. What? Where, where are the hot dogs? What a first level. Jeez. All right, well, I think we've explored this ridiculous thing enough. Let's go ahead and actually tear it down and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so first I'm actually gonna open up this controller here and see what the insides look like, because this, this thing is incredibly light. Like, it's gotta be 
probably a fourth of the, oh yeah, there it is. All right, so we already lost a couple springs. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, those are for, those are for the, the batteries. Wow. We got one circuit board here and another one right there. Uh, so yeah, you can tell why it's very light and clearly there's no vibration motors in there, which saves you a lot of weight. And uh, yeah, extremely basic, uh, just a, uh, you know, a basic circuit board for a controller. I mean, it, it does work. It doesn't feel nice, but it does indeed work. Now let's go ahead and try to open up this GameStick Pro. I'm gonna have to pry it apart somehow because I don't, there's like no screws anywhere. Uh, so let's, let's give this a try. All right, there we go. Wow, I'm actually impressed. They uh, really utilize the space here, which I like. I mean, if you take a look at the inside of the GS5, which I'll show a clip here, uh, they basically have like one or two little circuit boards and then the rest of it is just open plastic. This one, they legitimately used the entire space here. Let's see if I can pull this circuit board out. And yeah, I mean, you got your rock chip. And uh, of course, yeah, like I just I just like how they actually utilize the entire space. That is that is pretty cool to see. But hey man, overall for 30 bucks, like this is actually not bad. I am a bit disappointed it's not bigger, uh, but technically it is smaller than the GS5. So it is it is a GS5 Slim, like indeed. But let me know down below what you guys think about this thing. Overall, again, for 30 bucks, not too bad. Uh, but thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.